Inspired by the pioneering vision and zeal for technology entrepreneurship of Sri Om Prakash Jindal. The ethos of innovation and nation building are deeply embedded in the DNA of Jindal's steel and power. Under the leadership of its chairman, Sri Naveen Jindal, the company established a new milestone in global steel making by integrating steel making using non-coking coal with coal gasification technology for the first time in the world. This is going to be a game changer for the nation in terms of need, energy needs and in terms of converting coal into hydrogen and coal into ethanol and coal into methanol. This particular technology was conceived by our founder chairman, late Sri O.P. Jindalji and our current chairman, uh, Mr. Naveen Jindal, way back in 2007. And we started working on this technology in 2010. By 2014, we were ready with this product and to utilize this technology from coal to gas and finally we have installed the first and the only DRI plant in the world based on coal to gas and gas to DRI. Jindal Steel and Power has set up world's largest coal gasification plant CGP for steel making at its mega integrated steel plant of 6 MTPA capacity at Angul in Odisha. The coal gasification plant uses high ash, locally available Swadeshi coal, while also ensuring the availability of chemical and thermal energy required to produce DRI at an affordable price and reduces the environmental impact of coal in the long run. In pursuit towards its vision, to build India's most advanced steel plant in Angol. Jindal Steel and Power made technical collaboration with Germany's Lurgy to establish the CGP of 225,000 normal meter cubed per hour capacity. The CGP was commissioned in 2014, adopting Lurgy's fixed bed dry bottom technology, which is well proven and commercially demonstrated. It consists of seven gasifiers that can produce 225,000 normal meter cube per hour of pure synthesis gas and various liquid byproducts. The high ash coal is washed in the coal washery and fed to the gasifier from the top. And oxygen and steam are fed from the bottom. The gasifier is operated at an extreme pressure of 30 kg per square centimeter and a temperature of about 600 to 1200 degrees centigrade to produce synthesis gas and other byproducts. Synthesis gas produced in the CGP is sent to the direct produce iron DRI plant to make DRI or sponge iron, which is further processed to make steel. Synthesis gas replaces the costlier natural gas being used by other DRI manufacturers across the globe. Along with the synthesis gas, the process also gives out key byproducts like gasification oil, tar, phenyl, phenolic pitch, liquid ammonia, rectisol, naphtha, and sulfur. Coal is a wonderful product. Some people feel that coal is unfriendly. But rightly said by Honorable Prime Minister in America about four years back, that coal is not unfriendly. But the coal uses has to be environmental friendly. And that will be only possible when we convert coal into gas through gasification. And then gas into chemicals, gas into power, gas into fertilizers, gas into DRI, and many more products including SNG. The coal gasification plant, the first of its kind in the global steel industry by Jindal Steel and Power offers immense opportunity for India by converting low-value feed thermal coal to high-value products. As this technology reduces the use of imported coking coal, it helps in saving precious foreign exchange. As it has a milder impact on the environment as compared to the coal combustion process, it is more environment friendly. As envisaged by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, 
coal gasification technology has the potential to utilize India's Swadeshi coal in a clean and environment-friendly manner to meet our energy requirements. The technology can harness the abundant coal reserve of the country and make India Atmanirbhar in meeting its coal requirement. Adoption of its technology can be greatly helpful in reducing greenhouse emissions and achieving the target set in the 21st Conference of the Parties or COP to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This was a step taken to reduce CO2 emission because working through blast furnaces or making steel through blast furnaces that contains or that produces very high CO2 level which is about 2.6 ton per ton of steel. Whereas through DRI and electric arc furnaces we can reduce the overall CO2 by 30 to 40 percent. Not just the production of steel, the gasification technology can also help India overcome the shortage of oil, gas, methanol, ammonia, urea and other products. Through this process, coal can be converted into syngas, which can be used for producing power, petrol, diesel and other petroleum products, which can reduce dependence on crude oil imports. Syngas can be also used in sponge iron making, by the glass and ceramic industry, and even in cooking. We can produce the cheapest hydrogen through the coal gasification route. The coal gasification plant set up by Jindal Steel and Power at Angul has become a technology demonstrator and is frequently visited by national and international dignitaries and organizations. Students from Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology visited GSP's coal gasification plant in Angul and authored in-depth case studies on it. One more thing I would like to highlight that coal is the only fossil fuel available in the, on the earth which has a potential to eradicate poverty. Coal can change the lives of the people. We can control CO2 emission, we can control global warming by converting coal into hydrogen, by converting coal into fossil uh, replacement of fossil fuels and by converting coal into specialty chemicals which is the need of an hour. This innovation by Jindal Steel and Power led by Sri Naveen Jindal can prove to be a game changer for India's steel industry. It can add value to the huge high ash coal reserve in India and reduce India's dependency on the huge amount of imported coking coal required to achieve the target of ramping up the country's crude steel production output to 300 million tons by 2030 as per the National Steel Policy 2017. At the same time, it can bring prosperity and socio-economic development to people living in coal-bearing areas, which are mostly remotely located. Jindal Steel and Power Envisioning success through innovation